Whoa, we everybody, welcome what? to the WW Meme 2019 Ultimate Smackdown. Today we've got 32 Mees, they're all gonna fight it out, we're gonna find out who's the face of 2019. Tony Abbott's still first. You've oh my to god, Tony it. Abbott's first, we can't, oh god. Hi Ken, welcome, welcome to the game today, how's it, how's it going up here in the commentary booth? Very how's it, good. how's it going? How's it, how's the weather outside? We aren't outside. How's the <laughs> weather outside? It's pretty good, but apparently it's really hot. Grab even though it's stop talking. Cold. I'm trying to make a job. Grab your raincoats because it's gonna rain with blood. <laughs> Wait, is that too far? <laughs> yes. Here's how the tournament's gonna work. We've got 32 me fighters, all faces, memes, characters from throughout 2019. They're all gonna fight it out. I'm gonna find out who is the face of 2019. No questions asked. Is exactly how it works. Don't. Don't fight me. Round one battle, everybody. We got John Wick versus Tony Abbott. John Wick himself and Tony Abbott also who from eats this onions. year. All right, so we got John Wick, of course, uh, who is at representing Keanu Reeves here. Uh, he did a lot this year. Did his whole E3 thing, his whole cyberpunk. Sat on a bench, I think, at some point. Donated some money. Anyway, great guy up against Tony Abbott himself, who ate an onion this year. <laughs> that's I think that's all he did. Uh, hey guys, look, it's me from the future. Just to clarify something real quick. Turns out Tony Abbott did not actually in Onion this year. He did it back in like 2015 or something. In 2019 he was actually out fighting the massive bushfires all over Australia and volunteering mind you. So you know what? Props and respect to him. I, I think that's fair enough. I think he can stay in the competition. Don't you? I don't care what you said, he's staying in because it's pre-recorded anyway, so you can't, you can't do, yeah. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, I kind of, I want both of them to go through. I want Tony Ab to go through just for the memes. To be fair, I don't actually know what he did this year, except eating an onion. Um, oh. but wow, that was quick. Tony Abbott's out, Mr. Onion, Onion Man. Just look at him down there. <laughs> a little golf clap. Anyway, congrats to Keanu Reeves, moving on to the next round. Anyway, next round, we've got, uh, round two, or, yeah, round, round one battle. T I'll get there in the end. Alright, we've got Thanos himself, all the way from... From his space farm. Well, he's dead now, his head got Yeah, cut I off. know. Wait, no, it's, he's, he died twice, so that's a pretty rough way to go. Up against Lord Farquaad himself, he's finally made some time to hop out of his bed and address it. Okay! This is just going- this is, they're dropping like flies here. Wow, I- I he was- just snapped him. That's what that was. Thanos just snapped Farquaad straight away, absolutely no question. 15 second battle. <laughs> You're kidding me. Alright, next up we got two brawlers. This might be a bit more fair. Yeah. Alright, we've got Mr. Beast versus SpongeBob. 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 Looks like they're taking a trip to Delfino Plaza. Oh! Oh, SpongeBob makes some hits straight away. Mr. Beast have a little snooze up the top so uh you know they both had a pretty great year spongebob had a bunch of memes there was that whole mocking meme um i, I can't think of any examples oh someone grab that master ball i'm sure that'll help him out greatly oh no it's a literal this, god this, yep well I'd, I'd be worried if i was spongebob and of course we have mr beast who has way too much money and planted trees so it evens out in the end but he, he's got a lot of money and he does good things with it so you know maybe he'll use some of that money to do a good thing and win this competition no sides here Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Obviously, we've got the obvious advantage from falling here with Mr. Beast, who's currently got a jetpack. It's looking bad for SpongeBob. He does have that jetpack, though, so falling isn't... I wouldn't worry about that too much. What is that? Uh, a it's like laser. a laser gun. This could be bad. Could be bad for Jimmy. Is that his name? Is that Mr. Beast's know. name? Oh, oh, there we go. Never mind. SpongeBob is out. Mr. Beast is moving on through. I just love the golf clap down the bottom. <laughs> All right, round one battle four is James Charles himself, the vampire straight out of Twilight. You say himself a lot. Well, I don't know. Can I'm not a professional commentator. Does it look like I know what I'm doing? Oh, and also Robbie Rotten's here. Are you sure he was this year? Anyway, we got Robbie Rotten, the evil mastermind himself, trying to pull out an evil plan and win this competition, take over the world. Because did you know if they win, they get right, they get the key to oh. the world. They get the rights to the world. Oh, looks like James he Charles is about to do off. another apology video, because he's out. Round one, battle five. We got Mr. Poop -de Pie himself. Poop Sorry, that was a little bit offensive. Sorry if I made you cry. Ooh. We've got PewDiePie and Vibe Check. We're going to see what PewDiePie's vibe is. Vibe Check might have a bit of an advantage, though, since... Is Gunner? No, I, um, the thing about Gunner is it might be ranged, but I think it does a little bit less damage. So anyway, well, Cutie Pie versus Vibe Check. What's his vibe? I don't know. So far, it's looking 58.9%. Oh, 67.4%, and that's not a good vibe. Oh. You don't want that vibe? Oh, no. my God. He's out. Vibe Check wins. Vibe Check. 
Oh boy, here we go. We got Will Smith and Boris Johnson, the new Prime Minister of the UK. He's the Brexit guy. What is, is Brexit? Is it Britain Exit? Yes. So let's see if he'll Brexit. Let's see if he'll Brexit the competition. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, real talk. Uh, Boris Johnson looks like a literal Flintstones character. Like if, like if they you hopped into the Flintstones, pulled one of them out, you get Boris Johnson. That's well, that's what I'm speaking oh of. Oh no, Boris. Bobo. Bobo's gone. No! Bye bye! Anyway, next up we've got Dr. Knife Hands Phil versus, um, oh, Marky Market Shush. E Plier. Kaden, I'm introducing him. Mark Plier has also had a pretty great year. He's doing a lot of videos, I guess. I don't know, I don't really watch him. Um, he's had a lot of memes. Anyway, he's gone now, what? so he's dead. So, yeah, Dr. Phil just sent Markiplier right to the ranch. That was indeed the, the bite of 87. 87. All right, next up, everybody, we got Obama versus my mum. It's not actually, it, just her name is my mum. Whose mum is she? No one knows. Everyone's mum. She's everyone's mum. Uh, my mum being very cautious here. Oh, just going straight in for the punch. Clearly does not like Obama's policies. A little bit of a Donald Trump supporter here. Don't know if we can allow that. Anyway, Obama um, and my mum both pulling out and stops. My mum just picking up a piece of that piece of that delicious laser gun pie. See if she can get all of them. Oh, there's another one there. I think Obama's going for it. Oh, if she can get one more, she might be able to take this out before it's even started. I mean, it has started. Oh, Obama's got the last piece. That's not looking good for my mum, who's I don't know, practicing kung fu or something. Not really sure what's going on there. I guess this is pretty even. This is the most even match we've seen so far. Watch out, my mum. Obama's look out. He's right behind you. Oh! My mum just beat up Obama. I cannot believe it. Obama's out of the competition. Just like he is with the White House. Couldn't keep the White House, couldn't keep the competition. Anyway, next up, everybody, we got Sans. He doesn't have a last name. Versus Baby Boy Yoda. Up next. Who's it gonna- wait, Sans has a last name? Uh, anyway, Sans versus Baby Yoda. It's gonna be a good match. Uh, he's beating up a child here, so if Sans does win, that's something you can use against him. Wait, what? what? Sorry, what? I thought Baby Yoda's got Sans. Sans, my boy, you can't. Oh my god. Sans just getting knocked out straight away. Anyway, Baby Yoda wins. Well, what a quick and unexpected match. Speaking of quick and unexpected, look at this. Elon Musk blasting off to space, about to head off to space, but he's gonna beat up a cat before he does that. It's Thurston Waffles, of course, or the salad cat. He's gonna meow One until of the two. Elon's head explodes. Um, but if Cat does win, that will be a win for white cats. No, that sounds, that sounds racist. Cat is out here trying to do good for everyone, not just himself. He's very selfless, Cat. Uh, Elon Musk is just. What is that? The cat is. Um, if you hold on to it for like 20 seconds or something without getting hit, you get an extra life. So very overpowered little item there. Elon Musk just taking a dip. This look a very deadly dip by the looks. Oh, only just made it. That could have been a very deadly dip. <laughs> there, they're both having a little jump around. What's going on? Who knows? OMG, I just remember Grumpy Cat died this year. Yes, Cat will also be doing a favor to Grumpy Cat as well. They're trying to avenge uh, Grumpy Cat. Oh, oh no, Elon no. Musk has the gun. Oh he no, missed. there's Cat! Cat, you have let down all of Cat Crime for 2019. Elon oh, Musk and attend to his dolphin cat. again. <laughs> anyway, next up we got Goose from Untitled Goose Game versus OK Boomer. Let's see how this goes. All right, here we go. They're on a moving stage. Boomer doesn't know what's up. What is this newfangled game? Goose is going to show him how wonderful this new Goose game is by beating him up, which is what you should do. Beat up and old people. honking in his face. Go home, beat up an old person. I don't know. Oh, the screen's moving the opposite way. They weren't expecting this. Goose flying up in the air. They're both running to catch up. This is looking real bad for Goose. Okay, never mind. He's recovered. That could have been bad. Stay away, Goose. He's gold now. Oh, wait. If you collect 100 coins, you go gold. Oh, that's cool. Goose getting hit by a large metal ball there. Not afraid of- Oh, there we go. Goose invincible. Oh. Boomer's out! I repeat, Boomer is out. Okay, okay, Boomer. Anyway, Goose wins. Goose game lives another day. I'm saying as if they die when they get knocked out. No, they're just out of the competition. Have to go back. No, they're No, they're dead. They die. There's only one winner. Alright, let's hope you've done your Spanish today because it is Duolingo versus Matt. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what, what happens here. It's Matt himself from Wii Sports. The most difficult, the final boss of Wii Sports. Most powerful man alive. Can he beat Duolingo, who is the most powerful entity alive? Because as we know, Duolingo is not a person. He is definitely an entity. Has Matt done his Italian? His Spanish? What else do you learn Duolingo? Has he done his French? Have you done your French today, Caitlin? I don't do French. Alright, sleep with one eye open. That's all i got to say. I don't even have Duolingo. I don't care. Doesn't affect me. Duolingo's getting better. Duolingo's out! I mean, what a did we expect? A random person with a sword chopped him up. 
What did we expect? Yeah, well, that's just Matt's friend from um, Wii Sports Resort Swordplay minigame because he's the one that throws the stuff up in the oh, speed okay. slice. Anyway, Battle 12, we've got a great little matchup here. We've got Reggie from Nintendo or former for Nintendo versus Donald Trump himself. Both brawlers. Both brawlers. So an even fight. Um, both retired or at least both should be retired. Anyway, what is this level? Is this the place you go when you retire? Is this what happens? Is this what the- There's no old- old folks home. This is retirement. Trump's like, no, I don't want to be retired. He's just beating up Reggie real bad and now he's taking a dip as well apparently. This is not looking good for Reggie. I guess this is what happens when you retire. To be fair, if he was still working for Nintendo, he could just rig this game. Um, but they're both taking little dips every now and then. Wait, is he retired or did he resign? Guys, I'm sorry. I don't think Reggie's retired. I'm very sorry for making that mistake. I think he's just resigned. Oh no, watch out for the bullet bill. This could be deadly for the for both of them actually in this level. Mainly Reggie though, because he's going to get hit by Oh! Trump missing just then. Gone for a little zoom across the zoom, you know that? Oh, we should have had TikTok. Oh, Reggie's brought in his pet chain chomp to help out. He retired. He retired. Oh, he retired. Never mind, they're retired. That's why he's got a dog, because he's retired so he's lost time look after his chain chomp the pet so now there's a smash ball there is it fake though who knows looking a little bit fake but if someone gets this it could be could be what they need to win because this is this is going on for a while it's not looking good for either no it's, it's really not this could be anyone's game oh Ooh. no trump oh trump oh no it's all over for reggie he's retired now he's out of his own competition well it's not his own competition he's out of his own games competition wait no reggie didn't even work on this game with sakurai i don't know never mind reggie who cares who cares about you reggie oh here we go we've got yet another great battle We've got Bob Ross, big boy Bob Bob versus Greta Thun. Thun, what could that Thun be? Greta Thunder, Greta Thunder, Thunberg. Bob's not using those eco-friendly paints. This is the problem here. If Bob was using the eco-friendly paints, we wouldn't have a problem. They'd just be able to have a fun little time at Luigi's Mansion. Oh, that bomb looked like it's about to go off. Uh, not really sure why she did that. Uh, she really just does not like this house. Oh boy, what a fun battle. There's nothing to commentate on. These two literally have nothing in common. Oh, whoa, Bob just flying out. This is looking real bad for Bob. I think those eco-friendly paints, those not, those eco, eco, what's the opposite oh, of friendly? No. eco mini paints have finally caught up with him. Great. Oh, it's tearing down the mansion with him. If he's going to go, so is Luigi's mansion. That's not thing about Luigi. Lu oh, the power block did it for her. Power block did it. Painting is out. Environmental activision. Wait, that's a company. Activism. That's in. That's well in. In it. All right, for the second last battle, we got Bell Bathwater Delphine looking like a little demon over there, and we've of course got Joker. Both clearly uh, prank, both little pranksters. See how this goes, Joker? Of course, a very successful movie, lots of memes, made a staircase very popular, and Bell sold bathwater, and people drank it and died probably. Oh, going for a swim. Joker gone for a swim, drinking up some of that seawater. A bit of a change from the bathwater though. I uh, don't know how happy Bell is about this. Oh. She's apparently not very happy. She can't cope with the ocean water. Can't cope with the ocean water. Just took a dip. That was like a mad dip. Couldn't get a little replay on that. She just launched down. She, or maybe, I don't know, maybe she just wanted to be at one with the ocean. At one with the water. You know, bath water, ocean water. Same thing, really. Both have people swimming in it. So, so Swimming in it? Yeah, you can swim in the bath. Anyway, so we've got Steve versus Jack Black. Jack Black, very successful year. Is this a sign that he should play Minecraft? Is this a sign that he should play Minecraft? I think so. Jack Black, of course, it is. got some movies coming out, got the new Jumanji in cinemas in there. Uh, also, actually, no, Jack Black also had a YouTube channel, very successful, that's been popping off. Did a tour as well. Anyway, of course, we also got Steve. Oh, they're about to get charged. Jack, run! Oh, that, that was very close. Oh! oh Steve straight Steve into the runs barrel. the barrel. Jack Black clearly knows what he's doing. All those, all those epic gamer moments clearly paid off. Oh, Jack Black trying to trying to get another life. Stop him, Jack. Stop, he's gonna do it. <gasps> oh my god. This is looking real bad Steve for Jack Black. Steve is basically invincible at this point. Steve has another life. This is looking really bad. Okay, that that was looking like it was gonna be a knockout move, but I guess it wasn't. Uh, I mean, he, he can still... Oh, it's looking bad. Anyway, Steve also had a very successful year. Minecraft has blown up uh, all over the place. Like, it blew up from the inside and its bits went everywhere. There's someone there. Oh my god, Steve, you did it! Good Cannot job! Good, well, not good job. I wanted Jack to win. Not biased, though. Oh, that was the last battle of round one. We are on to round two. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We're on to round two. Can you... 
believe. Oh, uh, look, everybody is back. We're back for the second round of the competition. Don't worry that it says the wrong name. I didn't, I did not not forget to change it. Anyway, we've got our last winners from the last, last, uh, round one, and we're now gonna put them in groups of four, and then gonna fight it out. It's gonna be very cool. They're all on one stop, so the, the chances to win are still quite small. So we're gonna see if they can hold up against three other people, let alone one. So Ooh, first round, we've got three brawlers, one sword fighter. We've got Matt, Thanos, Steve, and Mr. Beast. Let's see what happens here. I mean, yeah, I'd be worried if I were the, if I were Thanos, Steve, or Mr. Beast. I mean, Matt is here, and you saw Matt in the last round. He took out Duolingo. If he can take out Duolingo, he can take out anyone. But then again, Thanos also. It is Thanos. Snapped Farquaad. I know Thanos just snapped Farquaad, but I think I think I don't know this. Oh, oh, Mr. Beast is out of the competition. This is gonna, oh, this is gonna be spicy. Thanos is not looking too Matt good. Matt has a bat. Matt with a bat. Oh, and nearly just did the home run on Steve there. Throwing the bat away. Clearly, it's not working for him. Matt is definitely doing the best, though. Thanos is, is not faring well. Um, I mean, you know, it looks Steve like he's having a little bit out. of a head cutting off. He's obviously Beheading. feeling the effects from when his head got lobbed off by Thor. Thanos nearly just falling in a pit there. How embarrassing that would have been. Steve's got the bat this time. Gonna try and do a little bit of a home run. I don't know. I think I think Matt's got this. Oh, that would have been a knockout hit for Steve had that slope not have been there. It's a very sloped map. There are a lot of slopes. Oh, Ooh. Thanos is out. S snapped himself. You know, a little bit of a back. Steve! Whoa! Oh my god! I did not see that coming. Steve just completely turning that match around. Well, I think that's well deserved. Somehow beat Matt, but you know. All right, round two, battle two. We've got Joker, we've got Robbie Rotten, we've got Vibe Check, and we of course have Goose from Untitled Goose Game. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we're in um, Shadow Moses Island, I think it is. Uh, anyway, so let's see what we got. We've got Vibe Check, gonna check everyone, check their vibes. I mean, you know, clearly they're, if they're not having a good vibe, they're gonna get snapped out of existence. If there's only, if there's one person more powerful than Thanos, it is Vibe Check after all. You know, I, I personally am rooting for Goose seeing as Untitled Goose Game was one of my games of the year. Sorry, of decade, probably. It's very great game. Oh, what is that? There's a giant is this robot. Metal Gear? I've never played Metal Gear. Oh, Vibe Check just kind of hanging out there. Seeing what's up. Be. Oh boy. Oh, Robbie Rotten is out. Out again. Plans foiled. No Stephanie in this game though. What is Goose doing? Oh, oh, whoa. Oh my god. Vibe Check just hitting the screen just like that meme where he, you know, reaches out and all that. Goose is just bouncing around. Goose has sta been staying out for the competition. Probably a wise thing to do. I don't know. Joker's looking pretty good. He's He seems to be fair in the best here, but this still is anyone's- Whoa. Never mind, it's not Goose. anyone's game. Because Goose wins. Goose. Untitled Goose Game, everybody. Uh, if Goose wins, you have to buy Untitled Goose Game from the Epic Games Store. Use the creator code Fluffy Rocks 4. That is the law. He said it, not me. Goose said it, that, not me. Battle 3, everybody. We've got Elon Musk, we've got Greta Thunberg, John Wick, and Donald Trump. Well, it was Boris for a second. I uh, know. Big Boy Bobo got knocked out round one. Yeah. Sad stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe, I mean, Greta was pretty formidable last time. Clearly, she's uh, standing up to all these people. I mean, Elon, I don't know. Is he, how's he, go, how's he going with the environment? I guess not too great. I mean, she's real beating him up now. Oh, Trump just taking a hit at John Wick over there. Not going to be happy Trump about that. Trump seems to be doing the best. I don't, no idea how Greta thinks about Trump. Maybe this is, maybe you sure. Guys, I don't think she likes Trump because she's a normal person. So anyway, there you go, everybody. Someone almost got knocked out. I just insulted about half of America. Oh, John there we Wick go. John Wick is gone. That is not something I, I wanted to see. I thought he was going to stick around. Uh, the Baba Yaga's out. Oh my God. We got the Squid Sisters doing a little performance here. What it, does this do? Oh. It makes the screen small. I, also I really want to play. I have a play school soon too. I really want to play. Oh my God, Greta's out. This is... They're between Trump, not in it. Trump won. Trump won again. Is this foreshadowing the future? This foreshadows the future. Trump will win the next election. This is tragic, everybody. Leave and uh, uh, leave a, a like. A, a leave a like if this is so sad. F in the chat. No like. Okay. <clears throat> <coughs> That was gonna happen. That wasn't intentional. Anyway, this round we've got Baby Yoda, we've got my mum, we've got Will Smith and Dr. Phil. I don't know, Dr. Phil could be sent them to the ranch. You know how he feels about parents. It's always the parents' fault with Dr. Phil. So, you know, maybe if I were my mum, I'd look out. We'll have a stern conversation. We'll have a stern conversation. A stern word with my mum. He's clearly sharpening his knife hands. I hope he's been anyway. Otherwise, uh, if I were him, he'd sharpen those knife hands. Will Smith, anyways, what is going on? There is a Metroid. There's a Metroid. My mum's doing pretty bad after like she's retreating a little bit good idea oh watch out oh my god my mum and baby yoda both 
Sure, off of the edge. Both out in one. That was I couldn't even what make was any. That? I did not even get a chance to make any of your mama jokes yet. What was that anyway? I don't I don't even know. Get an action replay on that. Not no, don't use an action replay. I don't know if they're legal. No, like get a replay of the action. Dr. Phil waiting for Will Smith to come up because clearly he's not done with him yet. Those knife there hands is are not food everywhere. Dr. Phil might need some of that. Those knife hands are clearly not working for him right now. Oh, he's evening out a bit with some of that food. Oh my god. Will Smith just I think bopped him with his head. Dr. Dr. Phil needs a bit of assistance from that one game where you take photos of things. Dr. Phil taking some snaps for the Insta. Uh, yee yee. Oh, oh, Will Smith! Oh, Will Smith got s Oh, oh, wait, how is that not knockout? Okay, this is not looking good for either of them. I think Dr. Phil might have slightly upper hand- Oh! You know, every time I say someone has the upper hand, they lose. Guess Will Smith's gonna go on to upload the rest of his spy movie to his YouTube channel. Now. That's what I said. He said it, not me. He said he was going to do Final. It's not the finals. Round three. Oh, here we go, everybody. It's round three of the WWE meme 2019 Ultimate SmackDown. We've got Goose versus Trump and Will Smith versus Steve, starting, of course, with Goose versus Trump. I know who I want to win. I know how I want to win the whole competition. Not biased, though. All right, so the way this round is working is another, it is yet another series of two, <coughs> two v two. Can, can you not die, please? So the way this round works is it is two one-on-one -on -one, uh, battles with two stop each. So they do have a little bit of chance to mess up here. So let's see how let's see how they let's see how it goes. Goose is taking it slow, I think. Goose is assist. What just, just happened to that? Just died. Character. Just walked into the sea. Walked right into the sea. Anyway, Goose is clearly uh, not having a. Oh no, never mind. Trump's not having a great time. Goose brought out his friend from Japan. You know how it is. That game's worldwide now. He's got friends everywhere. Trump's no, never mind. Everyone's a little bit angry with the bees. This is not- this isn't fair. What's going on? Goose, do something! Go okay, Goose is gonna use- Oh! Yeah, Goose was stuck on those bees, uh, but he, he made the most of the time he had and managed to knock Trump out once. Trump taking it real slow, real careful, which is what he should be doing with his presidency, but he's not. Both of them trying to work out what to do, not really sure. Olimar's ship for, coming in for a landing. Goose gonna make use of that too, I guess. Is it gonna work? Probably not. This, that thing never works. It is- Oh, there's a shark coming up. Oh! Goose got a little sentry turret down. Probably stole it from some farmer somewhere. You know how it is. Trump sent out the Dedenny. Trump, new Pokemon trainer. Clearly he's just turned 12, just got his first Pokemon. Oh, there's a bomb coming for Trump. Uh, wait, is that insensitive? Goose is, Goose is on 75%, but he is on two stock, remember. This is looking really good for Goose. If he can just knock Trump out once, he should he should have this. Uh, well, he should, he, of course, will have it, because he'd have won. But this is looking real good for Goose. Why did he just throw the gun? I don't know. Probably has the locker full, because it's America, and that's how it is. Goose got a little star there, got some bananas, got the perfect picnic, it seems. Oh, just knocking out Trump with the star. Don't. That's why you don't get in the way of Goose's picnic. Congrats, Goose. Goose, Trump is out. Finally, thank God. He knocked out my mum. Wait, was it that all? Anyway, here we go. Battle 2. We've got Will Smith versus Steve Minecraft. This could be anyone's game, really. I don't- I honestly- I'm not really going for anyone in this matchup. Let's see, that would be biased if it was. And as you know, I'm not biased. Anyway, Steve, please win. What oh, is the that? Stage is changing. Not really sure what happened there. That was a little bit weird. Oh! Will Smith getting the first punch in, and a real big one too. Steve finally getting some hits in. Not doing a whole lot. This might... I don't know, it's not looking good for Steve. If Steve wants to win, he's gonna need to start getting some hits in. It's clearly not working out for him right now. That assist trophy would be very helpful if he could grab that. Or the smash ball, that would also be quite helpful. Both just having a bit of a shield off here. I don't know what the point of that was. Oh, Steve is out. Steve is out. Did not see that coming. Well, actually I did. He was on 100% and Will Smith is the only one doing anything. But Steve now has a smash ball. Lucky it wasn't fake or that could have been the end of it, but looks looks like he's planning on using it. I think this is it for Will Smith. Will Smith is out. No. Will Smith's out, everybody. They're both on one life, both on even ground once again, but if it's anything like last time, you know, this is not looking good for Steve. He's going to start start pulling out the stops. Will Smith now has a scythe. Got a demon scythe. What is this? What is this? Will Smith, the demon. Next movie. Next Will Smith movie. Oh my god, Steve just nearly falling then. Real clutch move there. Will Smith waiting up top for Steve to pop back up. Oh boy, Steve is just using that shield like crazy, you know, that apparently Steve thinks that's how you attack or something, because he's using that more than the actual attacks. I don't know, is this a tactical move? Probably, but it's not working, because he's on 70%. Alright, Steve trying to work out what to do. Oh, Steve going in for a sneaky little hit, the cheeky hit there. Will Smith is trying to work out how to, how to come back from that, I'm not really sure what happened. Oh, I've just realised, there's only 7 seconds left on the sudden death timer. If Will does not do something soon, it'll be going into overtime. Oh! Oh my god! Will Smith wins with one second to spare. Lucky that too, or, or Steve could have definitely had that. So there we go. Will Smith is is our next champion. Looks like we're going Goose versus Will Smith. Final. 
And here we go, going in the final battle, everybody. It's Goose versus Will Smith. We're not gonna do things this way. Get out, get out of here, get out of here. I'm get out, I gotta get out again. All right, everybody, here we go. The final round, Will Smith versus Goose. Back to the 80s, taking a trip to the 80s. Will Smith, been there before. Goose is his first time. Who knows, anything can happen. We're doing yet another two stock battle. Here's how it's gonna work, though. We are doing a best of three. For two win, they will need to get two wins to take out the competition. So, so far, it's stakes aren't too high as of yet. Will Smith got like a weird cannon thing, like demon cannon. Probably wished for it, seeing he's a new Aladdin or whatever. Genie, what's it? He's oh, a genie. Will Smith clearly wanted to outdo Robin Williams. Not gonna happen though. He was the best. I actually think their characters are sort of two separate characters. Yeah. Oh, Will Smith just got knocked out once, as we're talking about Aladdin genies. Oh, if Goose can grab that one piece, he could actually take out this competition in record time, or take out this match anyway. Oh, it looks like Goose is going for all the different pieces for all the different weapons. If Goose could just go grab that other piece, then he might have this, but it's not. It looks like he's rather get beaten up by Will Smith. I'm sure many people would love to get beaten up by Will Smith. I mean, you know, it's just like saying hi to him or giving him a hug. So it's more like he's giving you a hug, but very aggressively kind of situation. Oh, come on, Goose. Just get the pieces. I'm not meant to be biased. Just pick them up. It's not that difficult to arrive there. Will's gonna... No one's picking him up. Just pick him up. Goose. Will Smith going for the pieces now too. They're a collectible item. Everyone's after them. Goose fighting with the smash ball there. I don't know. I think Goose might have this. Oh, Will Smith just dodging out of the smash. The final smash in the last second. Goose could just pick up those pieces. God, why is he not picking them up, Goose? This would be looking really good for the second round if he could, just, if Goose managed to somehow knock out Will without even losing a stock himself, which looks like it might be the case. Goose has gone really well. It looked like he did. I think Goose propelled himself off the edge, um, but I'm sure that's fine. Goose getting launched everywhere. Will Smith also getting launched everywhere. Oh, it looks like we're going into sudden death if Goose can't do something soon. And he should. Oh, I really think Goose should have had that. Oh, but Will Smith coming out on top in the um in the sudden death. I mean, to be fair, Goose had that the entire game. Goose would have just taken the hit. Well, not taken the hit, but given Will Smith a little hit, then, you know, he might have had that. Anyway, so it's round two of our best of three. If Will Smith wins, he's going to take out the whole competition. If Goose wins, it's going to be one more chance for redemption. But we are here in Megalovania in Sands Attack in a really dodgy level, which was not ba made by me, I promise. I'm much better at making levels than this, trust me. Anyway, it's Megalovania is the final fight. It could be, actually, it could be the final fight. Right, Goose, yet again, getting off a lot of hits right at the start, but you know how that went last time. Oh no! Both of them! This was a really deadly level because you can't actually grab onto the edges. Um, this might not, this might be a lot quicker than we thought. Both of them play a little bit safe because, you know, this level is clearly a lot more dangerous than they first thought. It's gonna slip right off those edges, you cannot recover. But if you do not, if you, if you don't... Oh! Will Smith falling right away! That slippy edge! Slippy Edge taking out everyone there. This is the tiebreaker, then. This is the tiebreaker. Yeah, I guess we need a tiebreaker, and we need a very tiebreaker-appropriate stage. All right, here we go. The final deciding round. We're going to fight it out on oh. Steam Tens. It would have been cool if they had like an Aurora Borealis background. It's One. Steam Tans, everybody. Let's get a look at our competition. Clearly, Will Smith trying to go in for a hit. Let's see how this plans out. Oh, Goose just dodging. Of course he did. Goose is a great, great dodger. You've seen him in his own game. He's taking out the victory for Untitled Goose Game. And remember, if Goose wins, you have to go to the Epic Game Store and use the code FluffyRox for when you're buying Untitled Goose Game. And you have to buy it. You have to. That's everyone who's in the world actually has to buy it. That's how this competition works. Goose. Oh. That was, whoa, what just happened? Goose trying to take out Will Smith with a soccer ball. Will Smith just fell straight away thanks to that roaming soccer ball. Was that Snorlax that hit that? Yes. Or did Goose? Snorlax uh, hit. Get a replay on that. Snorlax hit the soccer ball into Will Smith. Was was Snorlax Will Smith's assist trophy? No. Okay, it was, was Goose's. Goose's. Okay, that would have been ironic if it was. Will Smith got a bit of a power block gone. Goose has the advantage, clearly. But if he wants a, even more of an advantage, he's going to need to try and get those hits in when he can. Oh. So that if he does lose this match. He's really big. Oh, we got some epic music in the background. Epic Smash this music. Oh, Will Smith. I don't know. I think Goose might have this. Will Smith. It's not looking good for him. He's getting real beat up. This might be another bad recovery. Will Smith can't make it again. Goose is the champion. Goose from Untitled Goose Game takes out make the sure W. The WW meme. Goose from Untitled Goose Game taking out the WW meme 2019 Ultimate Smackdown. Goose is now the face of 2019. On the last, this is the last day of 2019 as well. So the champion of 2019 did not see that coming. Did you see that coming, Ken? No, not really. Wow, what an epic tournament. We had some great fun. Uh, you know, who are you rooting for this competition? 
I don't, honestly, Just I was sort of people. I was going for goose. Mostly from the start, goose. Personally, yeah. uh, my mum. I was also really hoping my mum would get far just just for the memes. Uh, Boris Johnson was not rooting for him. I'm glad he got knocked out straight away. We should get knocked out of the UK. Congratulations, Goose. Congratulations, Will Smith. Thank you for watching WWE Meme 2019 Ultimate Smackdown. We might do more of these throughout the year. Maybe more themed ones, some smaller, like maybe 16 person ones. That could be fun. Really enjoyed this. Very happy with the outcome. Anyway, everybody, thank you for tuning in for this round of WWE Meme, and we'll see you next time on WWE Meme. I'm trying to commentate like a WWE guy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. And we will see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Every Bye. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye. You can leave.